first part in acknowledgement. Uh, this gentleman sitting right here, Senator Wicker. Uh, Senator Wicker was instrumental in uh, making this vision come true to us in 2003. And not only was he instrumental back in 2003, Senator Wicker and his office has stayed in touch with us all along since our success. So we thank you very much for that, Senator Wicker. And along with, with the Senator's office, uh, it was, we call it a partnership, basically. And we had local, local and state uh, officials that contributed largely to our success. Uh, the Development Authority, the government, the uh, House and the Senate, uh, the universities, community college. Community college should play a critical role in, in developing our workforce. And not to mention, but even my local board of supervisors, our local civic organizations, and our local community, all have really come together since basically 2006 when we really started our kickoff and our major expansion, and have been there for us to help us make this a, a success and to see. Uh, another acknowledgement is I got a team of 340 talented, skilled employees. And I tell you what, they, they're a great team. Uh, the Senator mentioned uh, we are one of the top 10 in the Department of Defense contractors from a military standpoint. Uh, we are delivering on time and we're delivering within cost. And we've done this basically since this program was awarded to us in October 2006. So you've got delegated employees and he mentioned just a little bit about the, the demographics and that reaching out between states and between county lines. And I think I'll tell you right now, just with the, uh, the size facility that we have, We've got 72% of our employees that come from the Golden Triangle area, which encompasses West Point, Columbus, and Starville. Outside of that, we've got 16% of our employees that travel 90 miles or greater to come to work. And I also have 12% of our employees that come from the state of Alabama. So we do, we're a prime example, we're testimony to, you do reach out, you do grab from other, other areas, other states, and other districts when you put in an organization such as what you're talking about with the type of project. Uh, another thing that's notable about our organization is that we're greater than 50% uh, veterans. We have greater than 50% of veterans on our team. So we have a place when your veterans are returning home from active duty to go to work. Uh, we've employed displaced workers from my community that have lost their jobs from other area industries. And of course, we're at the position now that we're employing new employees from the job market, basically through our community, uh, community college training programs that we're able to train them in the aviation skills that we need in our organization. Uh, who are we? American Eurocopter is 100% owned by EADS North America, the same group that you're speaking with on the tanker project. We produce military and civil helicopters. Uh, we will, this year alone, uh, deliver 53 military helicopters out of Columbus, Mississippi plant. In alone, in, in addition to the 53 military units, we will also deliver 30 commercial helicopters out of the Columbus plant. So we'll deliver just shy of 100 units total out of Columbus, Mississippi uh, to the civil and or the military market. Uh, our customers, our customers include the Army, U.S. Army, the National Guard, the Navy, Coast Guard, Homeland Security and Border Patrol, and FBI, just to mention some in the Department of, of Defense. Uh, from the commercial, we're uh, delivering the tourism market, the parapublic, utility, corporate, offshore and petroleum industry. And one of the things that I'm most proud of is that we deliver uh, a large portion of our uh, civil markets to the uh, AMS, Air Medical Services sector. So we take a lot of great pride in the fact that our product is largely used in rescue, life-saving, defense, and security. Our Department of Defense recognition, uh, this program kicked off in October of 2006. We delivered our first helicopter in November of 2006, had our grand opening ceremony in December of 2006. We did not have the tooling, did not have the building, did not have the staffing, so all of that has happened since 2006 to today. I'm proud to say, Senator, to, to uh, uh, duplicate your comments that we're 100% on time, which is highly unusual in the Department of Defense contract. We're within cost, and we have a 92% operational uh, availability rate at this particular point, and that's just unheard of in the Department of Defense sector from the aviation business. So we are within one of the top 10 contracts from the Department of Defense altogether. Most importantly, 
In addition to that, our customer reviews are very positive. The military is very happy with the unit that we are delivering to. When the coastal area uh, is awarded the DSNA tanker project, uh, you'll see, in, in brief, three things that I want to make <coughs> is an investment. Investment leads to investment. We were the first to come into the Golden Triangle area in 2003. Since we've come into the Golden Triangle area, uh, area you have two additional aerospace industries, which Senator just mentioned. Uh, you've got a major steel industry that, that uh, went up right across the street from us. You've got a startup steel industry that just developed and is in process right now at this particular point. And along with that is the infrastructure, the roads, the power, the growth, and all that to support that to position us, position the Golden Triangle community for additional growth in the future. Uh, Guy Hicks kind of summed it up when he told me just a little, uh, uh, yesterday when we were talking about it, he said, all boats will float higher when the tide rises. So those good boats will float when the tide comes higher, and, and I know this will bring the tide higher for you. Uh, exposure, what, would it, what has the exposure, what Ameri uh, has American Eurocopter done for the Golden Triangle area? We broke, uh, brought both domestic and international exposure to the Golden Triangle area that they would not have seen, I don't think, without a company such as the EDS North American, what we brought. Uh, we bring customers in throughout all the United States. Uh, this aircraft is deployed in the United States, Kwajalein Islands. We've got a couple of units going to Germany. So it's got an exposure outside of the United, continental United States where we have to bring customers in. They see the Golden Triangle area. They come in to pick up the aircraft, they come in for deliveries and flyaways. So in along with that, you've got the exposure and the economic impact that they bring when they bring into that. Not only we do, do we do that from a, a customer standpoint domestically, but we also bring in international exposure. People that would have never seen the Golden Triangle area. I had to have some uh, expatriates come over here to help us start up our operation. And they have seen the Golden Triangle and live in that area and have become part of that area. Not only just live in it, but have become part of the Golden Triangle area and really, really are very excited about what they see in Mississippi and the surrounding states around us. Just a little briefly in the supply chain, when you bring in an organization like this, and I know you've seen some of the numbers and we will bring them out through the project, you'll definitely see the exposure and the capital gains and all that go with additional companies coming in to support an operation of this nature. You just don't go in and build anything in the aviation industry from parts from uh, providers that are not set up to build and form in the aviation industry. So along with the growth that you'll get, you'll get those industries that will come in that have to support this operation. So it's uh, it's all exciting for me. Uh, I like to think of it, when, e when EADS North America and the Gulf Coast wins this, I think you'll be very, very happy and very excited about the challenge and opportunities.